The game starts with a flashback and combat tutorial of the Slayer leading a legion of night sentinels into a bloody battle against the demonic armies of the Blind Council, a rogue and corrupted order of royal scholars led by Dea Grob, the hell priest of the Blood Temple. The Slayer has full health and armor and wears some kind of proto praetor suit that looks like a cross between the 2016 and the Eternal One, with bare biceps and everything, but without the flamethrower and grenade launcher. We get those later in the game. However, and since this segment takes place in the past, we only have access to the super shotgun without the meat hook, the ballista, and the sentinel sword, a special weapon that works in a similar way to the chainsaw. The player needs to glory kill three or more demons in order to charge its power bar. An in-game cutscene plays once the tutorial is completed, in which the Slayer is being praised by a crowd of victorious warriors with swords and futuristic weapons. However, there is no victory, because immediately after this, an enormous winged being slays all the sentinels with a blast of golden energy, burning almost everyone and turning the few survivors into mindless unwilling. Enraged and with no strength, the Slayer struggles to get on foot while the malevolent creature throws him to the air. Just when he's about to crash into the ground, a hooded figure rescues him and then the screen turns to black. The next thing we hear is a voice who says that they are no longer your people to save. The title sequence plays. The story starts with the Slayer waking in an ancient palace of Sentinel origin, the Hub, eight months after the events of Doom 2016. He's partially naked and looks more ripped and scarred than in the previous game intro. There's no immediate action, instead, we get a chance to walk around and practice some maneuvers and hand-to-hand -hand glory kill basics with captive imps. The Hub is basically the Slayer's little playground or fortress of solitude, an enormous and detailed place filled with lore and nods to older id games and pop culture classics. The piece is interrupted, and the place starts to tremble while demonic chanting sound in the distance. The action starts, and with this, our first mission, which consists of escaping to a safe area, more specifically the Armory, a sacred place full of treasures and vestiges from past events. The ceiling is falling, and the Slayer now must deal with the hordes of hell while trying to dodge the debris and escape. Once we get to the exit, a towering demon known as the Marauder starts to chase the Slayer. A third person cutscene starts and just when the Slayer is about to shoot him, a portal appears and tethers him out of the hub, while a confused Marauder looks how his enemy disappears. Infuriated, the Marauder starts to grunt, but a mysterious voice tells him that he needs to be calm, because now it is their time to give penance. We are now in a familiar place and the tethering animation from Doom 2016 stops. There was no one to be seen except for a female scientist and a male UAC technician who seemed to be intimidated by the presence of the Slayer. The woman tells him that she had orders to retrieve him from his place due to an emergency of catastrophic events. There is no time, the UAC is overrun by demons and the cultists are taking control of the Phobos base. We need to get out and destroy everything before their leader realizes that you are here. The man interrupts her and says, he's awake. A dark, ambient remix of Phobos Anomaly starts to play while a gigantic capsule reveals the destroyed torso of Samuel Hayden hanging from some tubes and cables. He looks at the camera asking, why are you here, in an agonizing voice and then he starts to cough in a robotic voice. The Slayer Odyssey begins. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What's the Cyberdemon fight like gameplay wise? He's a regular mini boss and is faster than his 2016 counterpart. However, he doesn't counter with missile attacks this time. What features does the hub have besides references to other games and level selection? After you complete every level, you have the option to continue to the next one or go to the hub. Every time the story progresses, certain lore elements start to appear around the Colosseum, and a big portal linked to a tower starts to appear until you get to the in game zone, which involves the last battle against a Marauder and the Doom Hunter. Gameplay-wise, you can do a lot of things like practice in a shooting range, play Turbo Turkey and other mini-games, and explore some open areas that have relevant info logs. If you pick everything, a puzzle is unlocked, and once completed, cutscenes trigger and you can unlock some new Master Levels, which are basically extended versions of previous ones with new sections and tougher enemies. Marauders are common mini-bosses. They are at least three, and they appear mostly in the Hell and Sentinel-related levels. 
So let's take a look at this level list of 18 of them. So we know that there's some that actually did make it, like Sentinel Prime, Mars Core, Cult of Space, but those were actually known earlier on. Now, I do want you to take a look at this. This uses the 2016 naming convention. See how it has the name and then parentheses? Kind of like 2016 did Resource Operations, Know Your Enemy, and then UAC, Rip and Tear, which was actually the secondary part of that name. They have Sentinel Prime in the very beginning and reference the Fall of Korax, which reminds me of the Korax tablets or book that is at the 2016 intro, for instance. And they have a bunch of other things that make references to things we already knew at this time in September, but aren't exactly right. Headquarters, not the villain, sounds like a Samuel Hayden reference. Mars Core is map number five. Then we have Downtown, Suburb, Citadel, all classic references to Doom 2. Cult of Space, The Blind Council, which is completely incorrect. Blood Temple, Beyond the Well, that's a 2016 reference, and then Blood Temple is thrown in there too. You have Empyrean, Meet Your Maker, which Maker spelled incorrectly, and of course, the Source Icon of Sin. You can see this is a completely wrong list here. Way too many levels, completely wrong naming convention to boot. They got everything wrong. Thank you for watching. Be sure to consider subscribing if you like the video and following me over on Twitch for live gameplay. And check out one of the recommendations here of the videos. I think you might like them. My name's Austin. See you later.